Hi guys, welcome to a new video. I'm back with the Go Edition content opening when I pre-ordered Man in 18. So I've already recorded my original pack opening, as you can see by the coins in the top right just there. And I am now going through my GOAT content. As you can see, we're revealing the players now. We've got Patriots Tom Brady at 85. We've got Barry Sanders from the Detroit Lions. One of the most versatile running backs like in history. And it will be really good for this run game, I believe, in this Madden. We've got Jerry Rice there at the 49ers. Again, considered one of the best of all time. So he's someone you shouldn't really pass up on. We've got Ray Lewis, who again is also considered one of the best of all time in the pass rushing. And he'll be a good user to use in online. And we get Dion Sanders, one of the fastest players I used last year. And he was just ridiculous. So here, I was just contemplating who to pick. Obviously, I check out my run game and I've not really got anyone good. So that's why I was looking at Barry. As you can see, 86 speed, 87 juke move. 87 elusiveness, so he's very agile and versatile. Someone ideal to use. We've got Brady there. Brilliant throwing stats compared to Andy Dalton. So, it's just, again, it was just a place of how, who do I pick, you know. But I decided to go with Barry Sanders because it will really improve my run game as he's got brilliant stats. Not one of the best truckers, but like with strength-wise, but... He's really good at juking, which is why I go with Barry. And squad offense. So it helps improve your depth mainly. Mitchell Trubisky. I got Rod Johnson. Some silver's not even worth mentioning. Jeremy Langford, Demary Baird, and Kobe Hamilton. That's just what, what really the packs look like. I don't really get anything, you know, crazy out of these. It's mainly just improving the depth of the players to start off the year. We get, do get Tamba Harley, but he's one of the slowest linebackers out there. So I was like, meh, you know. I might sell him for about 10, 15k, which I actually did as well. So Harley is not really anyone to shout at. Um, we're opening the next one. Again, we've got another elite. Oh, no, this is the fantasy pack, sorry. This is the elite players you get when you pre-order the, pre the game. You get They're all 80 rated, so... There's no point, you know, going for each player, so I just flick through most of them. On this screen, I'm just deciding who to go for to improve which position. I look at Richard Sherman, but as you can see, I already have Bryce McCain and Champ Bailey. So I was like, I don't really need a corner. Plus Sherman at 78 speed, he's just going to get beat by most receivers. So I look at JJ Watt as well. Only standout strength stat is his strength. And so I was like, he's not really going to be good on the ball. So I look also at Xavier Rhodes. Again, Champ Bailey just destroys him in coverage stats and whatnot. So I'm just looking through. I could have gone with Aaron Donald since I'm a Rams fan, but I've already got defensive tackles. So I'm like, I don't really need him. Um, so I'm just looking through. You've got like the Rodgers, Muhammad Wilkerson, Odell Beckham Jr., Julio Jones, Carson Wentz. And so I just had a look at Beckham's stats. As you can see, I've got a few receivers already. And Snead's already faster than him. He does beat Tory Smith in stats though, but again, 82 speed isn't ideal because he will get beaten by a lot of corners and defensive players. So I just keep looking through. There's David Johnson, there's Jamie Collins, Von Miller, Sammy Watkins, who has just been traded to the Rams about a week ago. Um, I look at Von Miller, and as you can see, my left outside linebacker situation is not great, so I do pick up Von Miller. He's got okay stats for a starting linebacker for the time being, which is why I went with him, because I think I've got a 75 gold in there at the minute. So Von Miller gets straight to the starting spot, good pass rusher, and we'll carry on with these packs now. Silver and another goal, Dwayne Harris. So I'll get back to you when we get someone good. We get an elite and we get Eric Reid. Eric Reid is my start, starting strong safety, so he went straight into the team. And he's still in my startings now, actually, because I haven't really f upgraded many positions. I've still got about 300k I'm sat on. 
But I have improved my team to an 82 overall because I have got quite a few upgrades in. So, Xavier Swallowfila, random name. Case Keenum will go into the Vikings. I'm glad he's gone. He did aid us in, a few, in four wins last season, but it was just we need to improve on the golf situation, which is what we're doing. We got another elite here. We got Josh Klein. Offensive line, so it's definitely worth getting, you know, to improve it because I think offensive line will play a big part in this year's Madden, especially with them improving the run game. Because I have been playing a lot of mutt squads with uh, Liam and Leon, a couple of friends of mine who do also play this game. And it is a lot of fun, but we utilise the run game a lot. And if we can get Chris Long, another, well, a defensive player. So that's definitely, again, going to improve my defence. Um, so like I said, I do get a few elites out of here, which is quite all right. But again, a lot of it is just filler. It's just depth added. And also, a lot of the players I will be using for such as like team leaders when they're eventually released. Also, team tokens to help improve players as well. So, they've definitely overdone. Like I've already said, they've overdone the ultimate team. Like, they've brought in a lot of new things. But tried keeping it the same. Which is what I think they should always do, in fact. Bring in new things, but don't really change it much either. So now I'm looking right through my binder and as you see A to Z it's just that's how it's laid out really. Silvers, golds, tips. But we look through the overall and as you can see I've got a couple of players selling there. But we've actually already sold. I've got the Munoz, I've got Barry Sanders. So I check how much Harley's worth and he was about 10k at the time. I think I sold it, ended up selling him for about 15k when as I'm recording this because I sold him earlier today. So I got a bit of coins off that. Going through, these are more players I have in my lineup. As you can see, a lot of 80s, 81s. It will come to improving at some time. Chris Long is only about 5k, so I thought, you know what, I'm going to put him in my team. He's a good starter for right end, so I'm going to keep him there. The same with Josh Klein. He's about 8k, so I just kept him in to improve the offensive line. So there's not much there to tell you, apart from we've managed to bolster the depth of our team. Obviously, Bon Miller can't be sold because of what, um, because he's a fantasy pack. Obviously, he can't be sold, like I just said. So he's just in the team. I'm showing you my lineup now. It's a lot more improved to what I've got at the minute because, like I say, I'm post-recording this this commentary. So it's a lot different than what you're seeing on the screen. I say a lot different. There's still some players in there, and. Um, like I say, I've got the two defensive tackles already sorted, so I didn't need to get Aaron Donald. So, that is mainly about it to show you for the GOAT content. That's what you get. So, I did hope you guys enjoyed the little pack mini pack opening I did. Um, I did, in fact, buy another GOAT edition upgrade from the store. So, I did pick another GOAT player. So, you, to uh, you will... The, the, I did buy another GOAT edition content upgrade, so you will see who, which other GOAT player I actually picked up, and that will be in another video for you guys, with more squad packs opening, and also I will be getting out some franchise at some point, either at the end of this week, uh, or at the start of next week, so hopefully you guys enjoyed, I'll see you in another video, peace.